Summers here with us today. And uh, Dan, well, tell me what some of these pictures are about. First of all, who took the picture and when was it? I took the pictures in 1950 when they had the train wreck in Gibsonville. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an exciting time, I guess. And uh, all it, the train came through and they had a lot of new 50 model cars on that thing. And, and I think most of them got burned up. And, uh, it was an exciting time. Well, how'd you hear about it? How'd you know there was a train wreck in Gibsonville? Oh my goodness. I lived at Ossipi and I'm sure news traveled swiftly and it seemed like it was on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to drive out and take some pictures of it. Okay, so this is 1950? 1950. Summertime, time of the year, do you think? Looks yes. Like short sleeve shirts. Yes, yes. So, so this first photograph looks like, uh, what, a railway, can't quite make it out. Looks like a railway crane. Yeah, I think they had to crane in, uh, kind of clearing the tracks. Okay. Now, one picture that does connect to what we've been talking about, here's a picture that looks like the town fire truck with some men standing in front of it. And we'd probably like to get that picture scanned because I think we're going to find out who those men are if they're members of the Gibsonville Fire Department. So that's, sure a, that's a good picture, just not that you don't know who they are, but I think somebody else might. Right. And then the last picture in this group, it looks like it's a, well, tell me what they're doing. Uh, I think they're just observing the uh, train wreck and trying, inquisitive, trying to see what's going on. So you mean to tell me for entertainment in Gibsonville, the main thing to do is go look at a train wreck? Oh, I am sure. That, that was, <laughs> this is a big deal is what you're mm -hmm. saying. Yes, yes. Now I heard earlier there was another train wreck uh, involving cotton bales. Now wasn't that, uh, who had that? I'm losing a little track here right now, but we had a story about another train wreck that looked like cotton bales. This is not that same train wreck. This is, looks like boxcars. I mean, yes. You said there are automobiles on the train. Yes, there's automobiles on there. Did you get one? No, I didn't. They wouldn't let me have one. All right. And was there a fire? You mentioned fire. It seemed like it. It seemed like to me they, they burned up some. I can't remember exactly. But it's, okay. I vaguely remember that it, that it was a fire. Now, looking at our historian for the town, Dr. Rippey, do you remember the fire? Uh, I was uh, when that occurred. I was at Walter Young Hospital. He was out of town at the time, so we can't confirm. Yeah, Really? I remember. I was I was home on, uh, for a weekend. It happened on a Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah, and there was a uh, the fire was from a box car that was loaded with meat, caught on fire. Yeah, we had a big barbecue. Look at that. Yeah, it did. And anybody ever figure out what caused that train wreck? It was right here in town. Do you have any idea about where it was? It, it jumped the tracks right up here at the depot. It was going east beyond the depot. Going toward Burlington. So it was actually not literally in town. No outside of town. Do you remember the fire, Bill? Do yeah, you? I was home on the weekend. I went up there too that night. So he confirms your story. Okay. I'm glad to hear that we got Sorry. confirmation. <laughs> I was sleeping in Elizabeth City at the time, but I was home on the weekend. Dan, I appreciate you coming by. If you wouldn't mind taking your pictures into the scanning machine there, they can make copies of them for you. Yeah.